Greetings everyone, this is the PC Security Channel and this is MCSoft Internet Security version 9. So this is what it looks like. Now the first change you've noticed probably is that the interface is resizable. So um, this is some kind of a rescue for those who are using uh, monitors with low resolution but not really because these scroll bars are pretty dang annoying. But anyway, uh, at least you have the option to have the full functionality of a product even if you have smaller screen. So that's good to see. At least uh, this is a partial solution. Now taking a look at the product itself. Now this thing does have um, quite a few um, new features. Apart from uh, the obvious uh, scroll bar and uh, the resizing of the user interface, now we have a firewall. So instead of having two separate components as Online Armor and MCSoft Anti-Malware, this is all integrated in one module. But um, what MCSoft have told me is that um, this thing is not exactly Online Armor. So this is just the firewall component of Online Armor and the hips and uh, some of the advanced functionality has been left out and the reason for that is some of those things are already present in MCSoft Anti-Malware. So instead of having conflicts like we are having before, now we just have a fully functional product with the number of components that are really required and all of these are discrete units. So we've got as usual our behavior blocker, surf protection, um, the usual signatures and then we've got the firewall and the behavior blocker of course. So this to me feels like a much better approach than what MCSoft had earlier with a separate anti-malware and online armor component. But just for those security nerds I think uh, online armor is still going to be available as a standalone product. So if you want you can still get that advanced functionality but for the rest of um, basic users you can um, get this complete suite which does the work and uh, doesn't get in your way. So um, this is what the basic user interface looks like as you've already noticed it's uh, very similar to MCSoft um, anti-malware version 9. And just to show you that it is, uh, this is actually their version 9, version 9 internet security. Let's just do a quick update again done one just now so I'm expecting this to be okay they've got some new signatures that's good and meanwhile let's take a look at the rest of the user interface which is unchanged so there's nothing really to talk about in terms of um, the other settings so the only thing that has changed is that now we have a firewall module in protection so that's the big change and as far as I've seen, this firewall is uh, very basic and user-friendly, so for those uh, who really couldn't use the internet security because um, it was too advanced, this is, I guess, the solution. But as I guess if you want the advanced functionality of a HIPS, you can always, uh, you know, get online armor separately. But if you're a basic user, this should do the job for you. So one more update just to make sure that we have the latest signatures and we'll begin testing. So once again I'm going to take a look at the resource usage to see if it's gone down. Not really. So they're still taking about uh, 300 megabytes of RAM, 200 to 300, and uh, that's a bit but it does go down and if you enable their memory usage optimization it can go as low as about 20 megabytes. So that's not bad at all. But the thing is, uh, if you have resources, it may use it. And um, obviously for those with really slow computers, it may not be the ideal solution. So let's get started with the link test. Now I've got five links over here. Now knowing the security capabilities of MCSoft, this should be a piece of cake. And as you can see, the first one is blocked, malicious host. Let's try the second one. Once again, it's the surf protection. Let's try the third one out. Okay, I'm going to allow the website to um, download this file. Let's 
trying to open something, but I guess it's not really getting what it's trying to open. So I guess that's a fail by the malware. Let's tr try this one out. It's not found. Okay, so it might have been removed. Let's try this one out. And once again, the host is blocked. So not an awful lot of work that MCSoft had to do this time. But more interestingly, we'll be doing a short uh, detection test. So I'll just disable the file guard. And I'll grab my malware. So we've got 100 pieces of malware in this folder. They're all fairly new, just stay old, I guess. So I'm just going to do right click scan and let's see what MCSoft can do. And it looks like it caught 98, which is a very large number. Removal speeds are fairly quick, just as you'd expect, the same as they are in online art, I mean anti-malware, because this is basically the same product. So now we're left with just two files. So now I'll re-enable the guard. As you know, the detection ratio is 98% because I tried 100 files, no need to calculate. So now I'm going to run these. Now this one's not going to run on Windows 8, I guess. This appears to be some flash uh, injector. Might be some adware also. And so far, no alert. Behavior blocker is turned on. That's kind of interesting. Looks like this thing is not really doing much. Let's see what it's doing over here. I notice high CPU usage, but then again that's going down, but I don't really see any real action. So I'll just go ahead and delete this folder and we'll do a couple of scans. And that should tell us if anything went by or if it just failed to work, the malware. So I'll grab Hitman Pro this time and we'll do a really quick scan. First, we'll just run uh, CCleaner. So this is Hitman Pro. Let's see if it detects anything. As far as I can see, the computer does appear to be clean. You know what? I'll just upload the file to Varstol just to um, have some confirmation on that. So we'll just pause MCSoft for a moment and we'll try to grab that file again. that was something like this yep so we'll just grab this and let's upload it to Firestool and see if it's actually malicious so now we should have the results coming in Hitman Pro is still uh, scanning and it's like at 99% and so far it hasn't found anything. The system's slowing up a little bit right now. Okay, so this file was already analyzed, but I'm going to reanalyze it just to be sure. 
let's see what are the detections on this file. Hitman Pro hasn't found anything suspicious so far. And Avast says it's clean, Baidu says it's clean. K7 calls it a Trojan, so does Icarus. And so does Fprite and Avira. Trojan Crypt text pack dot gen. That's interesting. But the rest say it's clean. Komodo says it's clean. Dr. Web says it's clean. Eset says it's clean. MC Soft, of course, says it's clean. And uh, so that means Bitdefender also says it's clean. Kaspersky, clean. Malwarebytes, clean. So it's pointless scanning with Malwarebytes. And, uh, well. That's an awful lot of engines that say it's clean. And just five uh, say it's infected, namely Ephira, Fprot, Icarus, K7, that's all. So basically just four engines. And um, is it a false positive? I don't know. So what I'm going to do right now is, um, well, Let's try to analyze this file in Kill Switch. Let's see what comes up. Now, I've already given my verdict regarding MCSoft, so it's not like something new. This is internet security, but it's pretty much anti-malware plus firewall, so we're expecting the same thing. And as you saw, it's very effective, very high detection ratio, and um, pretty good zero-day protection as well, which we can see a lot through this review because I didn't have too many malware samples. But the surf protection justified its, uh, itself as a really good web blocking feature. And now the only thing we're left to um, check is whether it let in a piece of malware or not. Well, if I had to uh, bet, I'd put my money on MCSoft keeping it clean. But anyway, let's try to analyze it as far as we can do. I mean, let's just go ahead and see what this process exactly is doing. So I'll go ahead and um, run this file. Okay, it executes. It executes uh, something else. It's still running. Let's see what Kill Switch has to say. Now the description's popping up, so it could just be, um, you know, part of some legitimate software that is not working correctly. So I didn't see anything happen, anything suspicious. So I'm assuming this is just a false positive. It's just some trace of some, uh, you know, legitimate file. And as far as I can see, I don't see anything especially malicious about this file. It has a description, and um, it's got all this information which you wouldn't find in most malware. So, I'll be assuming this is a false positive, so that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this test. As you can see, MCSoft is just as effective as it was, and as it will be in the future, that's what we'll be hoping, and at the moment it's a very nice solution um, for those of you guys who want paid protection and you want uh, absolutely the best detection rates, um, this is my one of my most recommended products. Of course, it does have its own shortcomings like uh, slightly higher memory usage, in fact quite higher memory usage than you would want. But at the same time, it offers signatures to uh, make it worth your while. So from a security standpoint, this is one of my favorite products. And uh, it's been that way for quite a while now. So that's it. Hope you guys uh, got the message through. And uh, for those of you who haven't seen their new internet security package, this should be informative enough. So I'll be having a lot more reviews soon because I have got some time this week. So stay tuned for that, stay informed, stay secure, and uh, always participate and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next Peace Security Channel video.